This is a child with a diagnosis of a brachial plexus injury. This injury has left his arm with very little motor control. You will notice on this video that his left arm is actually in a glove and the reason for this is we are doing constraint induced movement therapy where we are trying to inhibit his left arm from being able to work so that his right arm has to do more of the work. We're setting up the activity so that everything is as simple and easy as possible so that this child is going to be able to complete an activity without too much frustration and he's just going to gain the knowledge that that right arm can be useful. We are using a switch toy so that this child is able to play with a toy without having to use a lot of his muscles. I am supporting under the elbow and every time I feel him try and move that elbow to bend it up towards the switch, I give a little bit more support with my hand closer to his wrist to help him bend the elbow. This activity is working on his weight shifting over to his affected side. These children tend to not like to shift their weight over onto their affected side and they don't use their upper trunk muscles to try and keep their balance. So in a safe scenario, we can shift him over while I'm supporting still on his left side so he doesn't fall over. Feeding is a wonderful activity to do with these children because everybody likes to eat. So I am supporting his elbow and I'm going to help bring his hand up to his mouth every time I feel him trying I will support him and encourage him to get that hand to bring the food to his mouth. Here we're using a vertical surface with shaving cream on it. He's getting tactile input through his hand which is good for his sensory awareness and we're going to help him to move his arm in different directions so that he has that active movement. I'm stabilizing at his shoulder to give him support and not allowing him to go into poor positioning patterns. Here we're using different obstacles for him to try and climb into and out of. These children have difficulty navigating their bodies in tight spaces because they can't shift their weight over onto their affected sides. Here we are working on an obstacle course requiring him to step from one object to another. He does not like to keep his weight on his affected side and so I'm going to support him while he steps through and gets to the other stepping stone. When you do this, you wanna be able to keep hold of his hand and or his trunk so that he's given the support that he needs to be able to feel comfortable to shift his weight to his affected side and then step with his unaffected side. You can use bricks and wood and curbs and make obstacle courses out of common everyday activities so that it can become a playful part of his everyday routine. He wants to stay on that right side. Using two hands with a ball is a wonderful way to encourage both arms to be working together at midline. I'm supporting his weaker arm and still letting his left arm, which is in the glove, be able to participate without having to take the glove off. We are using a switch toy that allows him to be able to utilize his arm easily without becoming frustrated. Anne and Robert H. Lurie Children's Hospital has a Lycotech program. This program allows children to explore different types of toys and they will loan the toys to the families to be able to take home and work on specific therapy goals with toys that will help achieve these goals. Here we will be working on feeding again. I am supporting his elbow underneath as we can very freely go from one place to another without having to sit at the table for him to be able to stop and work on his elbow flexion. We are working on his dynamic balance, putting him on a small ball so that he feels safe and comfortable, and working first in forward and backward shifting patterns this is something important to do is to first make the child comfortable by using very small balls, making sure that their feet can touch the floor, and working on the forward-backwards weight shifts, and then you can start working on the side-to-side -side weight shifts. Thank you. Thank you.